Now this is the shape. This is the shape. Now I've got to point out a few really important things to you, okay? Firstly, you notice we've got this nice gentle curve, okay? And it must be curved. So firstly, get the shape right, okay? Secondly, and this is actually quite hard, okay, so pay attention. You need to be able to understand that from this graph, I can make a whole bunch of different ones that are very similar. It's like a whole family, if you like, okay? And they come by two ways, right? There's a shift up and down, right? So we call that vertical. And then you can shift it left and right, which is horizontal, right? And in fact, you can do both at the same time. I'll show you how, okay? So here's y equals x squared, right? Now, if I compare that to, say, y equals x squared plus 1, it's the exact same shape, but everything's been moved upward. That's all, okay? So in fact, I'll try my best, and I want to draw exactly the same shape, but just higher, that's all, okay? So something like this, I guess. Uh, roughly. It starts to deteriorate over there, but that's the idea. Okay? So it's been moved upward. Um, I can move it downward as well. So how would I do that? Graph. Instead of going x squared plus 1, how would I move it downward? x squared minus 1? Yeah, good. Perfect. Okay. So I might draw it like this. Okay. Exactly the same shape, but move downward. Okay. So something like this. Okay, like so. So you've got a whole family bit. And this is a, um, this is a vertical shift. I'm just moving it up and down. Okay. So how would you move it left and right? This is kind of a bit trickier. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, very good. Now, can I just say that again? Because that's a huge idea. And what, I don't know whether, I don't know whether it was blind luck or it was just like, I've been sitting on this idea for like half an hour and bang. Lucas is exactly right. And there's a really clever reason why. It's not just random, okay? Um, these numbers that we're adding or subtracting, right? Even though they're over here on the right-hand side, actually, what they're really changing is the y value. I'll show you. This equation, what would it look like if I took the 1 over the other side? It would be y... It would be y... Wait, I've got to subtract 1 from both sides. Can you see that these two are the same? Why is it? Oh, I see, okay. I've subtracted, I've taken this equation, and I've subtracted one from both sides. So it's equivalent. I see. In exactly the same way, I can add one to both these sides, and I'm going to get this. Okay? Now, it makes sense that when you put numbers, like you add numbers or you take away numbers from y, you go up and down. How come? What, does, what is y about? Which one's the y-axis? It's the up-down axis, right? <laughs> so it makes sense when you muck around with the y value, you should go up and down, okay? So what happens if we muck around with the x value like Lucas is suggesting, okay? <laughs> so here's how I'm going to do it. Uh, I'll draw my original x squared in there. Like that. Okay, so this y equals x squared. Now how do I change the x? Well, I'll add or subtract something from it. Like this. I'll do this for you. Okay? So you can see this, it's still all squared, but I'm taking one away from it before I square it. Okay? You can go ahead, you can draw the table of values, you can try them all out and get coordinates, but I'll save you a bit of time. Okay? This thing is going to be the same as this shape, but it's going to be moved to the right. It's going to look like this. What? Oh, because it's in brackets. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. Sorry, so I should move these over a little bit so it's a bit clearer. And okay. So my original one was y equals x squared. There. And then this blue one I've just drawn is y equals x minus 1 squared. Okay? For instance, I can show you the most important point here, the turning point, the vertex, right? It's there. Right? If you put in x equals 1, you get 1 minus 1 squared equals 0. There you go. Yeah. Um, wouldn't, because it's like x minus 1 squared, wouldn't it be to the right? You'd think minus should go that way, right? That is a very, very good intuition to have. But it doesn't work. I'll show you. Let's actually do the, um, we have just enough time to do a quick table of values. Okay? If you actually do the equation, 
I've just seen I've just seen this thousands of times before. That's how I know. Would you all draw up a table of values for this one for me? We'll do this one together. So pick up your pen now. I need another. Okay, we're going to try the same values we had before. Okay, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. Okay. So what happens when you put in, for instance, x equals zero? What's going to happen? I'm putting x equals zero in here, so you're going to get zero minus one. What's zero minus one? Minus one. Square. What's minus one square? That's one. One, like that. Okay, let's let's keep going this way. What happens when I put in one? I'll have one minus one, which is zero, and then I square it, which is zero. Okay, what happens when I put two in? Uh, it'll be two minus one, which is one. And then I square it, which is one. Okay, now I'll go the other way. What happens when I put in minus one in there? Minus one, minus one, minus two, and then I square it, which gives me four. You're recognizing these numbers from before, aren't you? Minus two, minus two, minus one gives you minus three, and then you square it, which gives you nine. So now when you test out these values, can you see? Look, this shape hasn't been moved to the left, it's been moved this way. The numbers we got before were these. Can you see they've all gone this way? Look, see? To the right. Okay. And so if I were to go the other way, okay? If I had not x minus 1 squared, but x plus 1, good. Okay? That's going to go the other way, like so. <laughs> okay, it's gone to the left. Yep. What if you square root? What if you take the square root? That is another great question. Y equals... Sorry, I'm just going to put some labels on this before I answer your question. That's 1, 1, and that would also be a... Well, be a negative 1 there. So 